Oh yeah. All right. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking today? This is a timeless reading for the collective, January 25th, 2024. It's an eight year, it's a year of manifestation. When you break down the year and add them all up together, break it down to a single number, you get the eight. Okay, this is going to be a general reading. About what you need to know right now. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. It's an overall good energy. Pentacles, you've got completion, you have your abundance, you have your family, you have your community. You see this all in your past. In your present, you're kind of just surrendering to the universe. You're drowning in emotions. You're looking for your song bowl. You're looking for that healing. You're looking for that inner wisdom. And you're surrendering. This is your future. You're planting your seeds so that you can grow. You're being patient so that you can get to your fruition. See what is growing for you. It will take time, but you will have abundance. It's all underground right now. The universe is working. It's, it's magic. Um, Things that are unseen or this beautiful rainbow that's being offered to you and you keep stressing out about these other three empty cups that are from your past. But you don't see what's right there in front of you. You're still patiently waiting. Um, you gotta get out of this emotion of loss and what you could have had, what you always wanted, what you didn't get in the past. And you need to look to your future. You're looking backwards here. You're not looking towards your future. Now, if you just look to your future, you're here. This is the outcome. You are the king of pentacles. You are abundant. You are the CEO. You are the wolf of Wall Street. You are sitting pretty. You just need to turn your head and look this way. Start seeing the positive, looking at the rainbow, see the beautiful colors. So you can get to this 
place of comfort, home. Feels like he's in a, a library or office in, in his home. This is working from home. This is enjoying life. Sitting back and relaxing. But you're protected. Angels, <clears throat> please give me more information. Please send me more information on this Ten of Pentacles in your past. This could have been a family that you had at one point, um, but had to move from a community you once had, meeting new people, having children. Having to walk away from something. Ten of Cups. I see a family here as well. Love. Might have been married before and you end up having to get a divorce. And you were all up in your head about it. Just surrendering. Get those emotions out. What could have been the fantasy? What is the action that you should take right now? Turn your head and see what's right in front of you. The star, wish is granted. Pour out your emotions. Being one one foot in and one foot out. Pick a side. Are you in the water or are you on the earth? Are you grounding yourself or are you droning in emotions? Pour out your emotions. Stop holding on to them. See, yeah, timing for this card is the pentacles. So uh, within seven years, very slow. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of work and time. This one just popped out. Um, Page of Swords, this is messages from your angels. Get out of your head, break ground, have freedom. Step out of the cold. It's winter time right now, but you need to plant your seeds. And land. Oh, 
Please clarify the Queen of Cups and what we are surrendering to. Strength. Surrendering to your strength. Have courage. Begin anew. Look to the horizon. Have freedom. Take flight. Surrendering to the fear. Moving forward with courage. Is there anything else I should know about this situation? Six of Swords. You're walking away. You're getting out of your head. You're walking towards the light. You're leaving something behind fight is over. Put your swords down. Time to rest. Mm. Cards flying everywhere. Oh yeah. And what just threw, flew out right now is the lover's card. You'll have this again. You'll have your abundant love. This fantasy that you've always wanted, it's coming to you. This is your twin flame. Your doves here. Your doves only have one partner in life. That's their true partner. They stick together through the thick and the thin, through through the thorns and the roses, the beauty and the turmoil, the pain. Offerings have to say. Please give me more information. Loneliness. When you stop fearing your aloneness, you stop settling for less than you deserve. May I embrace and love my solitude. And that's when kindred spirits can finally come. Wow. So you were lonely. Maybe you didn't have this in your past. You didn't have the family in the community that you wanted. You were alone. And when you stop settling for less than you deserve. You can embrace love and solitude. And then kindred spirits can finally come. So that's the kindred spirits right there. Clarity. Let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide my way. The way. Alright, clarity. Your intuition. Especially when matters are unclear. This is unclear. Did you lose a family? Did you never have a family? And your 
clarity will guide you here to this abundant love. Okay, Halloween Oracle. What else do I need to know about this situation? Any other advice? Jack-o-lantern. Protection. So you're gonna need protection. You're carving this out, right? Jack-o-lanterns you carve during Halloween. And you put light in it to shine your face to the rest of the world. Carve your own path so that you can get to where you need to be. It's divine love. Shine your light so others can see. Shungite, detox your life. And get rid of negative emotions. We have the moon here. Turquoise. Prioritize your health. Mm -hmm. There's something going on with your gut. I feel love in my gut. Maybe that's the thing that needs to be healed is your love. You know, and your ripping the guts out of this jack-o-lantern. Just ripping them out, pulling oh, them, throwing them away. Treating it like it's garbage, but you can eat those seeds. You can save those seeds and you can bake them and eat them and it gives you nourishment. Okay, and what is, and what is another thing you would like to let us know about? Because I work for the universe, my retirement plan is lit. If you can live as an inspiration to all who encounter you, you are truly living your light. Profound bliss comes in the form of service to what is right, not the success that a traditional career helps you achieve. Enjoying the sparkling lights of the fun and the luxury of this world that this world has to offer, but don't let them distract you. You will always be embraced. Nourished. I just talked about the seeds in your gut and protected if, and protected if you honor your magnificent mission. Protection. Strength. And your magnificent mission to serve Gaia, which is Earth, Mother Earth. When you work for the universe, you'll never be broke, unemployed, or deprived again. Okay, CEO. Work for the universe. Okay. Count your seeds. Break ground. Pour out your emotions, put it down. Uh, 
I am in love with all my parts. I am vibrant and sexy AF. You are so fucking perfect and gorgeous just the way you are. Otherwise, you wouldn't be you. Your unique shapes, flavors, aromas, vibrations, and colors are pure gifts to this planet. Here is your rainbow. As flowers open up to bloom in celebration of the sun, so too should you open your rainbow wings. Mm -hmm. You shine your sexy on everyone and shine your sexy on everyone, including yourself. It's time to make out with the mirror. Oh my God, right? It's getting hot in here, you sexy thing. Okay, that was your reading for today. Thank you for being here with One Who Seeks. Thank you for seeking your destiny with me. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.